What's going on today guys, this is Tony from Team Divine Pro here with some card fight Vanguard stuff. So today we're going to be opening up both the Interdimensional Dragon, Space Dragon or whatever, uh, TD. And we're also going to be opening up the Hajime Yo set for the thing. So the supply set kind of thing. So I think that well, first what we'll do is look open up the supply set since it does have everything and it's beautiful and all goodness and stuff like that. Yeah. So we're going to open this bad boy up first. Um... I didn't really think about buying the Royal Paladin one because I just, I don't know. I feel like I, I'd i rather try something new and I have never been a pl I've never, I've always respected gold uh, Royal Paladins for what they are, but I've never been an advocate in playing the deck. I'll just leave it at that. Pull the plastic off. Okay, so what do you get inside is that you get... If I can... There you go. We have to do it like that. You get a pack of sleeve. Oh. Here, let me just pull it out. Okay, so what you get? You get your deck. You get pack. You get stuff inside. We'll open this pack in a second. We got a pack of generation, which I will be getting also. You got a little space divider, dandy little thing. You got more... Space dividers, you got well, stuff, and then you got a pack of Chrono Shinjo card sleeves. These are for sale if anybody's interested. By the time that I post this video up, and so is this. Actually, I don't know. Pretty nice, but I like the back. But I don't know. I I like the front. Anyways, uh, let's get to the main stuff that we're here for. Oh yeah, by the way, there's no real difference in the Hajime O compared to the uh, actual um, set. So, just to let you know that the TD, you, I didn't realize that, I didn't know about that until now, so that's why. Uh, you get, oh yeah, you also get this. You get a point counter. Not really needed in the game if you memorize, if you, re if you like remember, but it's still helpful. No point. You get... Volume 15, I think this is the one with the Legion set. I'm not sure. And why do I even try to read Japanese? Well, well, we can come back to that after, at the end. Oh yeah, what? wait. Oh yeah. We also get a pack of uh, promos, so we can open that also at the end. That was on the side. <laughs> My bad, I forgot about that. Um, Let me just move that to the side, and let's get on to the deck. So, what do we have? Well, the deck is usually... We have Chrono Jet Dragon. Uh, Generation Break 2, your opponent can't call grade. Let me see. Uh, Gains plus 500, 5000, 2000 plus, destroyed. It's either 0 or. it's. A, I think it either has a Glory Maelstrom effect or it's the grade 1 and higher. It can't. Your opponent can't guard. But you have two, one hollow, and then one non-hollow. You have three 10Ks, counterblast one plus three, uh, 3K, so Sagramore, I think his name was before. Uh, two 3Ks, that's eight, okay. So 3K, wow, they put to eight. I, I, I don't remember. I don't know what this card does, but it's okay, I guess, I think. Uh, four 10K meters. Two, uh, two cards that are generation break, and I believe it's a retire or call ability. I can't remember. Boy, you get you get one hollow. It's cool. It's always cool. Uh, two of the three K generation break. When you have generation break active, you gain three K, so it's a twelve K beater. Uh, two special intercepts. Four eight K beaters. Four 10k attackers when you have generation break one. Then moving on to the other half of the pack. Uh, we got for the extras generation zone, we got one of well, we got two of the same. So we got one hollow and then one non hollow of the card that if you check one, if you check the top four cards of your deck in that one, each card is a grade different. So you have zero, one, two, three. Yeah. One, two, three. Then you can skip your opponent's next turn. So 
you skip a turn. It's really risky. It's really... I think it's check the top three. I'm not sure, but you have to counter boss four. So it's a big risk. And I don't know if it's worth it. It's possible to get it off. But a lot of people at first thought uh, they were going to be... Grio Chronicles going to be like a stacking deck. Uh, this one is, I'm assuming, a Persona Blaster. A special Persona Blaster or something. This one... that This one might actually be it. I'm not sure, but... It's a generation. It says generation break and then plus ten thousand. Uh, two common perfect guards. Kind of weird, but you know perfect guards. Like these are the ones that are just standard now because now you can. Ha There's the new ones that are perfect guard only the vanguard and then unflip. This one is just the standard. Uh, we have a starter, a four runner starter, which is really cool because usually you just get like the basic vanillas. Actually, no, I think file in the last previous TDs they had this, but this is the first TD I've been showing on this. Channel that has a forerunner starter. It's really cool. Triggers you got four critical, four two draw. Oh yeah, I know. I remember now why there's only two of these draws. Uh, four stands that look like a bunny. And what am I pushing there? Okay, and four heels, and then two of these draw triggers. One is hollow, which is kind of weird, but. I think it's if you push this card into solar, call it, you gain plus 5,000. You can give something plus 5,000. So it's okay to be hollow, I guess, in this case. It's cute. Kawaii. Pretty kawaii. And I guess we'll open up the actual TD now to see what you guys, to show you guys what you get in the actual TD. I have two of these, by the way, if you, for sale, if anybody is interested. And. How I open this is going to be weird because they've just redone the packaging. I don't get why they would redo packaging that was so easy to open and now it's so difficult. Huh. It says YouTube. Oh gosh, this is going to be difficult. This is absolutely abs absurd how they did this. I have no clue how I'm going to open this now. One second. I might have to just tear it open. I don't think there's any other safer, like, easy way to do it. Got one. I'm about to tear the other one, I think. Yep, gonna have to tear it. No choice. Oh, wait, maybe. Nope. Tearing. Oh, wow. Okay, so it took a while. It takes a lot of effort, but you know, it shows that I tried to keep it intact. What do you get? Okay, so what you get is another pack of Generation. So I don't know, maybe I'll keep the TDs just for the fact that I'll, I'll get new packs of Generation without having to actually buy the, the thing. And it has this new weird container it's inside of. Bushi wrote in their new like containers and everything. Yeah, there's no difference for Wish Wars, which I'm perfectly happy about because those TDs were easy to open. Okay. So you get one more pack of this. I think you get a point somewhere. If not, then it's okay. Yeah, I guess you don't get a point. Oh, it's all in the back here. Okay. That explains it. No point. And then just to show you guys exactly what I meant when I said there is no difference, here we go. Okay, well, if it wants to focus. There you go. So you got same hollows, same everything. 
Same hollows. You get four hollows in total, which is really nice because they usually don't. And then you even, you even get perfect guards. So really, you can just build the deck with just two of these, and then you'd be having eight draws, four crit, and four heal, or even stands if you want. But then you'd have at least a, a semi blinged out deck, and you'd have at least four perfect guards, which is really cool. Um, I might build a deck with just the TDs, but I don't know. It depends about if what I get in my GB, my G strides, and all that. And speaking of which, let's just open up the promo pack that we got first. Ooh, look at that back, guys. Oh yeah, I forgot to show you. Where is it? You'll be able to tell. Oh yeah, okay, so these ones are actually textured, like compared to this. I don't know how well. Yeah, you can see it's a little bit textured, and you can tell then that it is a stride unit, which is really cool. It's really nice that you can you can differentiate it without even needing a card sleeve. Anything? I think it's Atomos that's in this pack. Okay. Hello. So her ability is Soul Blast 2, draw one card for Gear Chronicles. Gear Chronicle something lion, don't know what it does. I think it's Soul Blast 1, it gains plus 5,000. And a Atomos that is hollow, which is really cool because it only comes in rare and the other ones. His ability is that um, you can counter boss 1, he gains plus 10,000. Really good finishing card for any stride. So a lot of people play him right now. And I think we'll open this up too. Yeah, I think this is the Legion campaign. Nope, just one card. Okay. I'm assuming you'd be Royal Paladin. Or Gold Paladin. Not sure, but Soul Blast 2, something, Rear Guard, something. I think it may be Calling. Now on to the actual thing that we want to be looking at. Okay, and point, no point. Oh, this is good, actually. See, this is the rare pattern. Um, this card is the Legion for something else, and the other something else is actually a pretty good grade 3. No point. Uh, this is the uh, Novo Grappler Limit Break Enabler. And we got another one. So cool. We got two pairs already. That's really good. Um, so yeah guys, uh, hope you guys enjoyed this deck of TD unboxing, well, unboxing and pack openings. Hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, uh, comment, rate, like, and subscribe. Hit that thumbs up and everything else, and until next time, this has been Tony from Team Divine Pro. See you guys later. Bye.